All right, so let's get uh, looking at how we can break up some of these face shapes now. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, just really quickly to, to show you the, the idea. Now, the animation process would be exactly the same as what we've just, just done. So I'm going to edit, select this node, and I'm just going to delete the blend shape node so that we've got no blend shape on this any longer. We've still got our um, mouth shape uh, in the skin cluster, but that's okay. Now, all I really want to show is how to break uh, a symmetrical blend shape, and all of these are symmetrical. Uh, into the two halves, into the left and the right. And luckily for us, there's a, a nice little script for that that does it automatically. So let's right click and open this up. You can see it's made by uh, Jeff Rosenthal. So you can check out his website there, jeffrosenthal.org. Uh, this uh, script is the mirror script from left to right. Uh, mirrors scripts left and right. And it gives us a little bit of um, actual uh, instructions to use. So select your source face and then select the blend shape you created and then run the script. So all we have to do is select the source and the source is just our original. Then we select the blend shape that we created. In this case, we can make the smile shape. So let's select the source first, shift select the smile and then run the script. So I've just made this a shelf button and I've called it uh, blend M, mirror blend, and we just hit the button. Okay, so what that's done is it's come down here and it's created these two shapes. So if I bring them out, it's done at either side of that. So if I'm to do that again, just to make that a little bit easier, we can put this down here, select that guy, and then that guy, and then hit blend. You can see what it's actually done. It's actually uh, sort of changed these, these shapes from right to left. Now, I'm just gonna undo that because I've noticed that I've done something wrong here. And that is that uh, by default, our mouth is not set to zero. So we've got to come in here with our joint and just make sure that it's there. In fact, just to be safe, let's unbind this mesh. So I'm going to go skin, detach skin, to just make sure that that mesh is back to its original state. So uh, select this one and then this one and then hit our blend mirror button. And that will make nicely now our left and our right uh, faces. And this is nicely uh, underscore LFT underscore RGT uh, nicely for us. So we could then just plug those straight back into the face and now we have left and right faces. That's really about as easy it is as it is. Now, just to, uh, to give you a little bit more of a demo on this, I'm gonna bring these down a little bit. One more thing to know about is to select the source shape first and this one second. And this time when we open up the script, we're gonna right click on that just so I can see it. And we can change this percentage range. So let's turn this up to something like 0.6, just to sort of see if we can find something that's a little bit more um, extreme. And I'm going to run this script again. And now what you'll see is that it actually has tried to blend each side off a little bit more. Now 0.6 is a bit extreme. You can see it's actually even eating in a little bit more to this side and this side. You can sort of see it starting to come up, but can you see the difference here between the two faces is that it's blend, there's a blend threshold distance and that's what uh, that point, that decimal place is up here. So just change that to, to tweak your settings. 0.3 is pretty good. I'd probably say uh, 0.3, but go between 0.1 and 0.3 as sort of a maximum. I'm gonna leave it at 0.1 for now. Uh, it's a pretty good one. So I'll delete those because that was the 0.6 version. Sorry, that one and that one. Bring these guys back up. And now we can select on that size face, that side face. I'm just gonna make a brand new blend shape. Create the former's blend shape with the default settings. And now as we can come in here, select that, edit, select node. And we can see that we've got our right and left shape. And that should be identical to this guy here. So if I was to reset that, you can see that those meshes are identical. And it's done a really nice job for us. And this is a massive lifesaver. So I, pre I prefer to model blend shapes symmetrical, symmetrically, either in Maya or in Mudbox. It just shows you what the shape will look like nicely. And then we can use this mirror left and right script just to export them back onto our shapes. And now we have asymmetrical control. So if we want to have a slightly asymmetrical face, we can kind of come in and do that and have a slight off symmetry and animate that individually. So there you go, there's mirroring blend shapes.